Hey, Radical Rundown fans. Uh, Ronnie Russell, better known as uh, Radical Ronnie. Oh, it's supposed to be like this, right? Is that what that is? I don't, I don't know. know. I see, and, uh, I and, and I'm you know. Phil. If you don't know that by now, you must live in a rock, under a rock. Yeah. But um, By the way, he's our. He, if you ever have a question, make sure you call Phil. Yeah, just call me direct. <laughs> um, <laughs> today's topic is going to be um, surface changes or surface. what surface to use on what lane conditions. Um, maybe starting out on the fresh, is there a surface you use or, um, or you look to, maybe ball, type ball? I mean, I'm always looking, you know, based on the length of the pattern. Um, it just matters how much volume's on the lane, really. Right. I mean, because a 45 foot pattern with not much volume, you're not going to want a lot of surface. Okay. And it's going to break down pretty quick. So um, I think you really got to pay attention to the amount of volume, no matter the length of the pattern. So as far as, um, let's talk about an average, let's talk about a league bowler, for okay. instance. You know, a guy walks in, he bowls on the fresh for league, it's first shift. You know, a lot of people are afraid to go with surface mm -hmm. um, just because they think it's going to hook too much. But you have to have a ball slow down in order right. for it to strike. Right. So usually surface will, will help. Um, surface will always helps to blend the lane out. Yeah, you want to try to yeah. do that. Yeah, and, that, and that's key word. You just said that a topic that people have asked before. You know, when they say the words, I have wet, dry reaction. You know, mm -hmm. it means they got it to the right, it overhooked. Right. They got it in, they couldn't get to the head pin. Right. Um, surface blends that out. It's just a matter yeah. of how much. Right. You know, polish is not the answer when you got a wet, dry wall, uh, and shine is not the answer. So you, you, you play with the surface. You, you know, your best thing to do maybe is to go get a lane on practice day and a couple of Avalon pads or Sierra pads and Scotch-Brite and go fiddle around. Yeah, you're just testing, and I guess that's the best part about a sport is all the variables that are... Right. That's what makes a lot of bowlers go from, like, really awesome bowlers to just no, average right. bowlers. Yeah, and yeah. It's, that's knowing... Knowing ball motion and seeing how your ball reacts to the right. lane and knowing what to do to it to make it yeah. do something else. What about going through the pins, the way the ball goes through the pins? What do you look at um, when you're bowling? <sighs> um, to be honest, like when I, when I know I'm bowling really good, like as Bill Orkowski says, like strike, strike ugly. Like my, I'm just kind of throwing pins everywhere. I never go like super high flush. Right. Um, I like when my ball is just kind of... A blend of strikes. Yeah, um, yeah. Just you know, flush, light pocket hit. A good tell to you have a good ball reaction is when you throw a messenger across and it actually hits the ten pin, not yeah. goes in front of it. Yeah, because those are the ones you talk about, but they didn't right. help you any. So I, right. I don't. I, the one thing I don't like is like when the older guys are like, ah, yeah. See, the older I get, the pin keeps going in front of the ten pin. That has nothing to do with it. Right. It's because your ball isn't picking up early. Not, 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 and that's usually the answer. It's not right. picking up soon. So that's where surface would help. That's where surface pick would help. Up a yeah. And when you're, I, I, how many times we get asked, or asked the question, how do I carry a 10 pin? Yeah. Well, well it's simple. Yeah. You got to change your ball. You got you to get the like, ball to come off the, yeah. right, the spot the right way. If you're leaving 10 pin, your ball is 99% of the time behind it. So. Right. You get it to start up sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the best thing to do when you go out and practice is, you know, throw a couple of shots, see where the ball hooked from. You know, move a little bit. I mean, you don't yeah. want to stay in the same spot. But after a while, if you're 10 pin, 10 pin, 10 pin, it's surface. Yeah. For you sure. Know, for sure. That's today's radical uh, rundown. We'll get back soon.